Hi guys, welcome to our channel Selenium Tech Automation. In this video, I am going to show you how we can perform data driven testing with the help of Cucumber Framework. Okay, before that, if you are new to our channel Selenium Tech Automation, please subscribe for more videos and also please drop a like for this video. Okay, let's get started. So, how to perform data driven testing with the help of Cucumber Framework? Okay, before going to start our actual data driven testing with the help of Fukumar framework, first we have to understand what exactly this data driven testing means. Okay, so here this data driven testing will allow us automatically run a test case with multiple times with different input and output validation values. Okay, so this data driven testing means which will allow us to run our test cases with different input and output validation values right and also it is always not possible to test an application with all the possible options for example there are 2000 users who are using particular application for example that is Amazon application okay so during this time it is not always to I mean it is not always possible to test that Amazon application with all the 2000 login users okay at the same time okay at the same time it is not possible to execute the test cases with all the possible values okay so we need to have some mechanism by which we can execute the same test cases with different data or same data so that's why we are introducing here one type of testing or framework that is called as data driven framework or data driven testing okay so now we will see how we can implement this data driven testing with the help of cucumber framework okay so here we can say that this data driven testing is a framework where the test data is being driven by the data files such as excel files or text files or csv files that is comma separated values even we can add some databases as well to perform this data driven testing with the help of cucumber framework okay so here we need a way to open that excel document so that's the reason why we are using one concept that is called as apache poi okay so now in this example i am not going to show you with the help of any excel related document or csv file or text file i will just show you how we can open our orange hrm application and we can perform with different username and different password for example i am taking here almost four inputs okay one is with valid input and valid i mean valid username and valid password at the same time i am taking valid i mean invalid username and valid password okay valid username and invalid password invalid username and invalid password okay so we are we are going to test all these scenarios with the help of data driven testing inside our cucumber framework okay so to perform that first we have to understand what exactly we are doing here okay here we can see inside our orange hrm test runner class we are using okay we are using one keyword that is called as glue okay what exactly this glue code keyword will do here okay so here the glue i mean glue keyword is a part of cucumber options okay glue keyword is a part of cucumber options annotation that will describes the location and path of our step definition file okay so with the help of this glue keyword we can define our step definition path or location of our step definition file okay so that's the reason why we are introducing here one glue keyword so here step definition means so where exactly i have written all my test case so here inside our orange hrm definition okay inside my orange hrm definition i have written my actual class that is orange hrm test okay so where i have implemented with the help of gherkin keywords such as given given then and when and and so these are all the different keywords where we can use to work with our cucumber framework 
okay so to mention our location of our step definition file which means where exactly our test scripts got located so to mention that location or path we are using one keyword that keyword name is here that is called as glue keyword okay so i will show you how exactly our feature file will looks like if you are working with data driven testing means so first of all we are mentioning one feature here what exactly we are doing here that is login action we are performing okay for orange hrm we are performing the functionality that is called as login action functionality okay at the same time we are using one more keyword that is called as scenario outline later we are using one examples keyword here so what exactly this okay what exactly this examples keyword here so here we can perform data driven testing with the help of a keyword that is called as examples keyword okay so we can perform our data driven testing with the help of examples keyword and also we can also use one keyword that is called as scenario outline to execute the same scenario okay scenario outline means to execute this particular scenario with multiple values that is called as admin admin 123 one set of username and password and the another set here is admin 1 is the username and admin 1234 is the password later we are using one more set that is called as admin 2 and admin 12345 so these are all the three different set of input values where we are going to test with all the given username and password combinations so here example keyword means we can perform the data driven testing with the help of keywords example and also we can use one keyword that is called as scenario outline which will help us to execute the same scenario with different combination of input values that is admin admin 123 is one set admin 1 and admin 1234 is one set and admin 2 admin 12345 is another set okay so this is how we are going to perform our data driven testing with the help of cucumber okay now i am going to test this particular orange hrm application with three different set of combinations that is admin admin 123 is one set admin 1 admin 1234 is another set and admin 1 admin 2 and admin 12345 is another set okay if you are new to this uh, feature file i have already made one dedicated video that is our cucumber introduction so please watch that video and then only you can understand what exactly this feature file and what exactly this step definition file that is orange hrm test and what exactly this runner class so where i have defined clearly about what is at the rate run with annotation and also what exactly this cucumber options annotation and what exactly the feature file later i have discussed about what exactly this runner class and then what exactly this step definition file or orange hrm definition package okay so once if i uh, once creating the feature file so now i want to tell that so here is my feature file got located please go to that particular feature file and execute my test case that is orange hrm test so that's why we are returning inside our orange hrm test runner with the help of features keyword we are defining our features file where exactly it present so then we are mentioning our where exactly our test file got located that is orange hrm test where exactly this orange hrm test got located inside our orange hrm definition file okay so now i am going to execute our test case with multiple set of combinations so where i have defined inside my orange hrm feature file with the help of a keyword that is called as scenario outline where we can execute our test case with multiple set of input values that is username and password so this username and password i defined with the help of examples keyword okay so now let me go to our actual test runner class that is orange hrm test runner so here you can see i have defined two annotations inside our cucumber options annotation i have defined my feature file location that is feature file is my folder name and orange hrm dot feature is my feature file name 
okay and this orange hrm feature file is located inside this particular feature file folder that is called as feature file okay so then i am mentioning one more keyword that is called as glue keyword so we can represent it our location of our orange hrm test or step definition file so that is where exactly we return our actual test case so here you can see it is my first method later we can see when user enter the valid username and valid password then i am using here send keys dot string that is username and password so how i defend here inside my feature file means with the help of examples keyword so i have specified my username as a parameter and password is a parameter okay when user enter valid username and valid password we can take the first value at the same time it will take once this step got completed again it will take this value again it will take this value okay we are testing with multiple input values to test our login functionality okay so now let me execute our script with the help of rnhrm test runner class so how we can run that is with the help of run as that is junit test okay if you are new to this particular feature file and everything please watch our first tutorial where i have discussed about what is cucumber and what exactly cucumber framework and also what is feature file and what is step definition file and what exactly the test runner file okay here you can see it is first time launching and entering with the admin and admin 123 then if you can see here it is successfully launched so then it is trying with the second set of combination that is which one with the help of admin 1 and admin 1234 you can see here it is entering admin 1 as my username and entering password as admin 1234 Okay, this time our script is going to be failed because that is not a valid username and valid password right so here you can see it is entering here admin 1 and admin 1234 okay so if you go to your console you can see here invalid credentials so likewise i am testing with uh, admin 2 and admin 12345 as well here you can see it is going to enter admin 2 and admin 12345 so here I took three combinations to test login functionality of RNHRM application with the help of examples keyword and also with the help of scenario outline. So where this scenario outline will execute our set of test cases with multiple input values where examples keyword we can define how many times you want to execute your application with different set of combinations of username and password. So now you can see here it is telling invalid credentials so as of now we have defined three set of values here for the first set of input it is giving proper login action because that username and password are valid so later we are testing with admin 1 admin 1 2 3 4 because these two are incorrect so that's why we are getting invalid credentials at the third time i am testing with admin 2 and admin 12345 if you look at this third window it is telling invalid credentials okay so this is how we can perform our data driven testing with the help of feature file with the help of examples keyword and scenario outline so now let me test this particular application with the help of okay so now let me test this particular orange hrm application with the help of all the same username and password and we will see admin and admin 123 i am passing the all the correct username and correct passwords and we will see okay so this is my feature file and let me execute this time it is working fine or not because this time i am providing all the username and password are correct values only let me test and let me execute before that let me close all these and we will see whether it is login properly or not okay it is launching our application it is going to enter my username and password with the correct values so in the second set of combination we can i mean we are providing the same like correct username and correct password only for the third set of inputs also we are providing the correct username and correct password so with these three combinations our orange hrm is going to be work properly fine here you can see first set it can able to be login and the second time 
so you will see whether it is entering the correct username and correct password or not okay it is opening for the second time once it opened our application it is entering the same username and password what we have defined here here you can say admin it is entered and admin 123 successfully log into our application okay here you can see it got successfully login okay third time also it is logging into our orange hrm application with correct username and correct password okay so this is how we can perform the data driven testing with the help of cucumber framework if you don't know about the basic concepts please go to our earlier video where i have discussed about cucumber introduction where i have discussed about what is feature file and what is step definition file and what is test runner file okay here you can see all these three times our application is login successfully first time and go to the second time and go to the third time all the three times it got login successfully with valid username and valid password if you go to your console here you can see successful login with credentials first it got successful second time also it got successful and third time also it got successful okay in our next video how we can integrate our html report and json reports okay to see our actual results so we will discuss about all those as well okay please drop a like and uh, please subscribe to our channel selenium tech automation for more videos like this okay we will discuss about how to generate reports inside our cucumber in our next video okay so that's all it for now guys if you like this video please drop a like and also please subscribe to my channel okay till then take care everyone have a nice day signing off selenium tech automation Thank you so much.